hello and welcome to another video this is strom and today i will show you the difference between 60 hertz and 75 hertz as i cannot overclock on this monitor more than 75 hertz but i will show you is there really a difference in fps games and the performance of the game does the game become way more smoother than it was or do i connect more shots than i usually could so let's start then so right here i'm i have a 1680 by 1050 monitor and it's on 60 hertz right now so what i am using for overclocking is the custom resolution utility cru you can find it anywhere i'll give you the link below so you can use this to overclock and set yourself a property i will open this really quick to show you right here you can add yourself anything right here you can go beyond but you know this is my usual one this is my monitor size and there we go i can put a 144 and uh, i can just set anything for myself like 75 i'll say 75 80 85 and 90 but only 75 works and the uh, rest of them it's a, it tells me that it's uh, way beyond your money just to fill so let's just see how 60 hertz goes and you will, you will check the difference uh, yourself you'll see the difference yourself so here goes my first game in CSGO I will do the sound and this is the normal 60 hertz you will see that my spray patterns will be a lot more accurate and efficient in 75 hertz you see the spray is not that accurate uh, one thing I don't use M4 a lot, I used the suppressed a while ago, so I was way more I was way more used to using the suppressed one, so I remember file pretty well, but I don't remember this gun. You can see that I have uh, what, like 160 FPS. But the game is as smooth as you can see. It's, it's, it's just the FPS. Can you see as well? I could. You can uh, see there's no, not a lot of accuracy in this. This is just a game.